Hi friends, it's Kathy, and welcome to my YouTube channel, It's in the Cards Divination. Today, we're going to be looking at a pick a pile reading to answer the question, where is this relationship headed? But first, if you would be so kind, if you like this video or this channel, please click on the like button. And if you feel you'd like to receive more messages, more content, more videos, click on the subscribe button and the bell. Great. Let's go further with this now. Let's see. We have these piles, three piles. Our first gem pile, gemstone, crystal. This is a crystal, actually. And this one is called tourmaline. You can see, and there's actually, you can see in the top left corner, there's a larger version of this. This is going to be pile one. All right. Pile two is going to be the red jasper. Okay. And pile three is the quartz, as you can see. Okay. So what you'll do is you'll pause this video and take a few deep breaths and focus on which of these crystals is calling to you. Then you'll go into the description box below and you will find the timestamp of which pile you want to listen to, pile one, pile two, or pile three. Now, having said that, you can listen to one, two, or all three if you like. If it doesn't resonate, let it go. There'll be another video coming soon. All right, so let's see. Everybody wants to know, where is this relationship going? It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. Sometimes it's a friendship. Maybe things aren't going so well. We've had a fight. It can be even a family relationship. It can be a co-worker, anything. It doesn't have to be romantic. But the majority really want to know, where is my relationship going to be going. All right, my dears. So pause the video and go in the description box, pick which pile speaks to you, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi, pile one. If you chose the crystal, then this is your reading. All right, let's just put this up here for now. We're going to start with tarot as I usually do. And I'm going to be using my small deck. And let's just focus. Where is this relationship going? Let's see what the cards have to say about it, right? All right. This little deck sometimes is hard to maneuver. Okay, your first card is the Six of Wands. And that one's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Because it's so tiny. All right, next card is the Two of Swords in the reverse. Okay, I'll just move these over. There we go. And our third is Seven of Swords in the reverse. Okay, let's see what we have going on here. All right. So pile one, right off the bat, you're starting off with a very good card. The six of wands indicates in a relationship setting, being seen as being successful and victorious. In other words, there's a very good card. Things are going really well for you. And especially when it comes to the chemistry department or the passion and the excitement of the relationship. But as we know, um, relationships just don't exist on excitement, fun, and passion. There has to be stability and um, all the elements that go into a relationship need to be there. In other words, to have a healthy relationship. So at the beginning of this relationship, which I feel for most of you, this is an early times relationship. In other words, whether it's a friendship, a coworker, anyone, a romantic, it's like you are in the early stages and things look really good. In fact, other people may even see you as both being well-matched and well-suited together, okay? 
Now, the Two of Swords in the reverse tells me that there's going to come a point in time where um, a decision is made. Okay, the blinders are going to come off. You see how she's got that? Um, oh, sorry. The um, actual... The actual blindfold will come off, okay? And um, one of you is going to be seeing things for how they really are and making a decision about your relationship. Now, because it's in the reverse position, it doesn't always bode well, but it doesn't, there's a problem in other words, but it doesn't say what it is. So let's just look further into this. Um, the Seven of Swords in the reverse position. Again, there is something not quite right, but it's not necessarily a bad card in the reverse position. So in other words, some, some one of you is going to come clean about what they've been feeling in this situation. They're going to be um, expressing this in a way. Now it doesn't, in other words, you're going to be um things will come to light it's it's not it's not going to be hidden anymore i know that sounds rather vague but we're going to delve further to find out what these things could be so let's put these cards up here so that seems to be where the uh, relationship is progressing uh there's going to come a point let's sum it up where one of you is going to Basically, come clean about something you haven't been honest about, okay? There needs to be, uh, maybe your true colors will come out, or their true colors will come out. It always looks good in the beginning, right? But then sometimes things can go badly. Got to move this out of the way here. Okay, let's pull our tarot. Let's see. Let's pull another tarot. And let's ask, what exactly will this be about? This situation that's coming clean. And where will it lead in the end? Is it so bad that, you know, either one of you goes your separate ways or are you going to work it out? So first, what is it that you come clean about? What is it that this person or yourself decides to um, come clean on or show your true colors, perhaps? All right. The King of Cups in the reverse. So... If it's a man, which it, this is referring to a male energy, that it appears that this man is going to, he's coming clean. In other words, his actual nature and how he really behaves is going to come clean. Um, it's not positive. It's not good. He's not quite as loving as he's been projecting. He doesn't have his... Uh, emotions together. In fact, he might even be controlling, selfish, manipulative. There's all these negative qualities that could come out. This, in other words, yes, their true colors are coming. That's what this is about. It's it's like when you're in that early stage of a relationship and everything looks beautiful and you're on your best behavior, this male energy is going to start showing who they really are in reality when you're together for a while. Okay, let's see then where is that relationship going to head then once they start showing this. Most people would say, oh, wow, I mean, that's an easy one, right? You break up. No, a lot of people don't always break up. Sometimes you try to make it work, see what happens. It depends on, there's a lot of things that are dependent and that's where you have your free will. Okay, let's just see where then is this relationship headed once their true colors are revealed to you. Judgment. Okay. It's a judgment. <laughs> That's a no-brainer, as they say. Um, we're going to pull another card because it does not offer up conclusive answer. It means, obviously, you're going to have to make a decision on it. You're going to be the one to say if the situation is worth, worth what you want. Are you willing to tolerate this behavior? Are you going to move on? Okay. So in other words, the cards are saying it's up to you what you do with it. It's not, they're not going to tell you what to do. Your guides and spirits 
the um, part of this is a lesson for you because it is the judgment and it's a major arcana. So let me see then, uh, potentially then, where it might head. Ooh, Eight of Wands jumped out in the upright. So it's going to be fast, whatever this decision. In fact, there will be messages back and forth. Let's see what else we got. The Knight of Wands. I think what it's it's trying to tell me, and I know because the Knight of Wands, even in the upright position, is somebody who just wants to have a good time. They're just having fun. It's passionate. It's fun. It's a good time. But they're not taking it as seriously as um, maybe you are. So I feel that the female uh, person on the end of this relationship, because most likely it is a male energy who is giving problems. Female is the one that's going to then say, you know what, let's dial this back and just have a good time. I'm not really wanting to take this in a serious direction. I perhaps just want us to have a casual situation. In other words, they don't have the commitment that you perhaps would want or the male energy might want. So if you are on the female end of this, listening to this, that's most likely how you will find this outcome for this situation. But again, it's up to you. You could change this and say, you know what? Um, no, it's okay. I will keep going and see how long this is going to go and how things are going to, they're going to improve maybe. But for the majority of you, it looks like whether it is a friendship, co-worker, lover, it doesn't matter. Um, for most of you, you're going to be kind of pulling back. In other words, you're not going to be serious. You're not going to spend a lot of time with them. You don't want to. You want it to be more casual. You want it to be just fun. So therefore, you don't want, you want what you had before things suddenly change. You want them to go back to the way they were. So by keeping it casual, you feel maybe I can maintain that. So it's possible you still will have this relationship, but it'll be on a more casual basis than what you had before. So let's pull another card to see what else they want to tell us about this. What do the angel answers want to say here? Let's pull a card here on this pile. Oh, yeah, see, not the right time. So basically, this person, uh, this male energy, is not the one, perhaps. They're not uh, a person that you need to spend time with or cultivate a longstanding relationship in whatever way you see it. Um, this is most likely a romantic situation. So often when I get the right, not the right time, it's very clear. This relationship, it's almost like a test. In other words, it's like saying, how much are you willing to put up with from someone else? Do you want to tolerate this negative behavior? And it's just not, maybe not the right one, the right situation. It's not the right time. So it appears for the majority of you, pile one, that this relationship may end up going casually in the next while. And it could even peter out. It doesn't show us that, but it does show a casual pulling back to this relationship. All right, pile one, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hi, pile one, you chose the red jasper. Then this is your reading. Okay, let's see. We'll start with tarot. Where is this relationship headed? As I've said, it can be any type of relationship doesn't necessarily mean romantic. Whatever is on your mind, pile two, and the reason this pile resonated for you. So let's see where it's headed, most likely at this time. Okay. So the first card we have is the devil. Okay. Let's see here. What else we have? Ace of Cups. 
in the upright. It's the second card. And the third is temperance in reverse. Okay, let me just begin by saying the relationship that you are currently having, that you're asking about, appears to be grounded in um, sexual of a sexual nature or things that draw you together. For example, if this is a friendship situation, it could be maybe you both have a real obsession with shopping or partying or having fun together. If this is a romantic relationship. It's definitely of a sexual nature. It tells me that the two of you are out to have fun together. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is long for the world, this relationship. In fact, I would go so far as to say um, feelings may change. Okay. Normally when I get the Ace of Cups in an outcome for a relationship, it often means that there will be a new love in your life coming. Okay. It's starting because it's a starting card. So it's very possible that this particular relationship that you're asking about will not last. It's not grounded in anything concrete to make it last. It's just for the fun. There's a loved one coming. Okay. And the reason being, it's there's going to be someone new coming, most likely, is because you're just not the same mindset. You're not on an equal footing. Okay. There's too much maybe partying going on, too much of this devil situation and not enough um, foundational equality that the relationship will be stable. It's, not, it's an instability, in other words. There's an unequal balance between you. Uh, and it appears that you do want, if it's a romantic situation, you do want a relationship. This is fun for now, but it's not good for the long term. You want something that's going to last. For those of you, it's a friendship situation. It's the same thing. Somebody new coming into your life. Now, some even, I'm hearing, this could be a new start between you, the existing person. You could start over. Sometimes this indicates with the same person. So for some of you, you could stay together with this person um, or remain friends. But you both agree that you want something more. And so you're willing to move forward and try again. Okay. So all is not lost for those of you asking about this particular relationship. Sometimes it can move forward and, um, and try again. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to work in the end. So this relationship that you're currently asking about appears to end at some point here in the coming while. Unfortunately, there's just too many differences between you and it's not what you want. Like I say, this is great for the short term, but for the long term, not what you want. Let's see, what else can we find out about the situation, in this relationship, okay? Let's just see, we have another deck here. Let's give Tarot a cry. We want to know more, right? Okay, why? What is going on in this situation? Okay, the strength card in the reverse. Okay, makes a lot of sense. It's it's very much, um, I was going to say they suck the life out of you. That's, that's the expression I would use when I see it in the reverse. It's this relationship is not good for you. It's not giving you uh, what you need in the uh in your life i mean yes it's it's been fun there's been a lot of bonuses with being with this person there's been a lot of good things but it's superficial in other words this card often reflects the devil things that are not um it's usually things that we really 
are tempted by or obsessed by and we really want. And that can mean anything, right? That could be from money to sex to any of those things. But it doesn't sustain you. It doesn't give you what you want or what you need. And it's not providing you with a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so whether it's a friend or a romantic person, they're just not, doesn't look like they're very good for you in a lot of ways. Let's just see what else is going on here with this relationship here. Five of Swords. Oh boy. <laughs> It just is negative after negative after negative. Holy mash. In fact, I would go so far as to say for some of you, you might even feel like this is a situation where you're being beaten down mentally. It's not physically necessarily. It's more of a, it's a constant battle between you. They seem to be constantly wanting to um win you know the expression where they're always want to be in the right they always want to be the one that comes out on top against you and you can't have a relationship like that it has to be fairly equal standing so it's it doesn't look like that particular relationship for most of you is going to last there's going to be something new and for some of you this is going to give you a new lease on life. Let's see where it will put you. In fact, I'd say there's somebody else for most of you. There's a new person coming into your life. Let's delve into that a little more. Another card about this new person. Okay. All right. Let's see part two. All right. It is. It's a two of cups, but it's in the reverse. So what it tells me is that this may not last either, which I know is not what you want to hear, because usually if we have something new coming in, it's like, oh, well, this is great. But it does not appear, maybe it's too soon for those in a romantic situation, too soon after this situation. Um, it doesn't look like it goes further. It's a little more casual. It doesn't mean necessarily you won't be together. But there seems to be an issue here as to why your relationships, it looks like there may be two going on here for most of you, can't go further than the Two of Cups or the Ace of Cups. It's like there needs to be something in you that tracks you to more stability. This is, this is telling me that you're not ready yet for a stable relationship. You've got work to do on your own, okay? I know for some of you, you're like, oh, I've done enough. I'm tired of this. But it really does. It tells me that for whatever reason, how, whatever you're putting out to, to the universe and your energy is not to, almost like you don't want, you're afraid to go further. You don't want to get hurt anymore. So you seem to cut it off or it seems to end before it has a chance to even go further. Or for some of you, you've chosen the wrong one in the first place. Well, we know how that goes, right? Let's pick an advice card. Let's see what else we can get from this reading pile too. All right, let's see. Advice, advice. What can you give us here? Success. Well, that's a great card. So in the end, it's all going to work out for the best. It's just you're going to have a bumpy road to go through initially. Um, there's this, whether even if it's a friendship situation, maybe it's even better just being on your own uh, without this person in your life, whether it's romantic or the actual friendship or a coworker, you don't need to put up with that nonsense, okay? But it will work out in the end. It's going to give you what you need to move forward in this lifetime, in this particular situation. It's going to give you your strength back. It's going to help move you, propel you. It also propels you to realize what you don't want in a situation you know like we all have to have our our bottom line our boundaries okay i don't want this i'm going to put this aside and move in a better direction so pile two it doesn't look positive about this relationship you're asking about but it appears to me that 
even if there is another person, and this could still be referring to this situation for some of you, this person, um, even though it's going to be a more casual situation, in other words, you may not even see each other, or you just may see each other occasionally, it's for the better, all right? It'll give you what you need. Um, this is a toxic situation here, what's going on in this relationship for the most part. You don't need to live with that situation. All right, my dears, pile two. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So I'm going to just turn this. And stay safe, and bye for now. Hi, pile three. If you chose quartz, then this is the reading. Okay. Let's start with tarot. What is going on with this relationship? Where is it headed for you? Ooh, we had one jump out. Okay, let's pick another one. It's the Three of Wands. Sorry, hold it in the reverse. Okay, go to the next one. Jumpers, you have to take the jumpers. Okay. Okay, it's two cards. Where is this relationship going? The King of Swords. Upright. And finally, the Hermit. In the reverse. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing here is that most likely this particular situation is not necessary. Well, I'm... It could be romantic for most, for some of you, but not all of you. This could very well be a work situation or an acquaintance or friend. I'm not feeling the energy of a romantic, okay? So what it tells me here, let me just move these cards over, is there could very well, you may need to seek the advice of someone. You didn't take someone's advice. That's what this is. You didn't listen. <laughs> Somebody warned you. Somebody warned you that this was not a good situation. And unfortunately, you didn't listen. The hermit in the reverse is telling me there's a lack of wisdom. You just didn't pay attention. The king of swords in the upright is somebody was trying to help you in this situation. And for most of you, and you did not follow their wise counsel. The two of wands, I think I said the three initially, it's the two of wands, I apologize, is that um, you will be faced with a with this, you were faced with a decision. Sorry, let me back up. You initially felt that you had to, you were on the fence, in other words, about this person and this relationship, and you weren't sure what to do. But, and this person clearly was trying to help you and offer you help on it, but yeah, as I say, you didn't listen. Now, um, you have no choice. You have to move in a certain direction. And it's very likely, we're going to pull some more tarot cards, that it is out of this situation, out of this relationship, or whatever is going on here. Um, it's not, it's not in your best interest. Boy, that's a, such a negative. Well, let's see what else is going on here. Where is this going to end up? It's it's like you have no choice. You have to leave it. Not necessarily. Let's see what else. Let's see what uh, goes on here with the other tarot. Yeah, let's just pull here. Two cards. Okay, the six of swords in the reverse. Definitely, that makes sense to me. Okay, let me move these up, my baby tarot. So you can see that. And we have the lovers. Oh, yikes. The lovers, it's all about choice too. As I was saying, there's a choice situation here. And finally, the emperor. Okay, the emperor, strong, stable energy. Um, so what happens is, yeah, the king of swords here is definitely reflected in the emperor card. It's that logical, stable wise counsel wise decision but you th yeah you thought it was great for some of you obviously the lovers it's a relationship it's a romantic relationship you thought this was going to be everything and it was perfect 
And as they say, other people or some energy, male energy or a male person or even a professional, sometimes this is reflected as a, uh, not just a, a counselor of some kind, has told you that this is not a good idea. You didn't listen and you've been stuck. You've been stuck in this situation. You And that's a mental stuck. It's not necessarily physical. You just can't seem to let them go. You need to let those crows fly away that's in this picture. There's a lack of moving on here. You just seem to be holding on, okay? So let's find out what it is about this situation that isn't good. I mean, it just appears to be not in your favor, but why? Why is this not a good situation for you? Why? Why? You need to find out. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. It's just it's part of life. It's a cycle. This is just a situation you're going through right now. Um, there's, you know, it's like you got to a certain point in this relationship and it doesn't appear, even though the lovers is here, and that's a very passionate card in the upright, it feels to me that this particular um, energy is just not serving your purpose. It's because you've got this here, the situation of counsel, listening to it and doing what uh, somebody offers, it's burdensome to you. Okay. It could be that it's just more work than it's worth in this particular situation, this relationship. And it doesn't, like I say, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic. It could be a relationship, say, for example, a work relationship where you thought the two of you, it was a project you were working on, it was really going to do well. And this emperor or her, it could be the boss saying, or somebody in a counseling situation saying, you know what, this is not going to be good for you. It's going to be, you're going to be stuck doing all the work in this situation. You might want to get out now, okay? It's not going to help you. It's not going to give you what you need in this, whether it's a job situation or it, romantic it is just a burden. That's, that's the only word I could use to describe this. You're carrying the load here. You're the one doing everything. And it's just not balanced in this situation. So it's time to move on. And for some of you, that's as simple as what it is. It's like it's it's uh, run its course. It's time to move on. The situation has petered out, okay? So whatever this particular... Um, relationship is regarding it's kind of are you willing to put in more effort because it looks like you're the one doing all the work in this situation here let's see what the um, advice tells us let's see what the cards are with respect to this advice here on this particular situation all right let's see here no I guess you can't get any more uh, direct than that, eh? Um, yeah, the no is simply no. What else can we say, right? Don't get it. Let it go. And um, what I'm feeling is that, yeah, because the Wheel of Fortune came up, it's definitely a situation where it served its time. The wheel's turning. It's time to move in a better direction. And it's out of your control. It's not even you necessarily making that decision. I feel like it's going to happen whether you move on because, and the reason I say is it's, you have no choice now. There's a situation that's happening for most of you where you don't have a choice. If it's a work situation, maybe you're on a new project. Maybe the boss has moved you to another location, whatever the case is. Maybe in this case, um, the romantic partner, they have already moved on themselves. You need to let it go. 
So in other words, it's, you don't have a choice here. It's not like you're sitting there, well, I think I'm going to leave this person or I think I'm going to stop working with them or hanging out with them. No, they've already perhaps moved on for most of them. Um, some of them might just be hanging around only because it's in your mind. You can't seem to let go of them yourself. Maybe if it's a work situation, it's a, you don't want to fail. You don't want to look like you failed in this situation. If it's a romantic situation, obviously our feelings are uh, in the way and we just can't let go of this person. So the cards are saying, no, it's going to happen whether you leave or not, or you move away from this situation, it's going to happen. That's what the no is telling us right now, pile three. Oh my goodness, this is another net. This is not good, I know. But I think for most of you, you already know that. You already know that this situation has to end, but you just couldn't do it yourself. So it looks to me like fate, in whatever way, destiny, fate, whatever you want to call it, is going to happen anyways. They're going to make it happen. So anyways, I don't, I know these aren't, this isn't a great reading and I apologize, but the cards are the cards and it is what it is. So this relationship appears to be out of your control, that it will be uh, moving on without, with or without your um, trying, that sometimes circumstances Move it, moves it away from us. And that's in our favor. Sometimes our guides and angels, or maybe what our life lessons are, this is part of it and you need to be moved on from it. Okay. All right, dear pile three, I hope you got something out of this reading and I look forward to our next video. Bye for now.